Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. And action. What's up, y'all? It's Don't Trip Podcast. You're on with your host, David, and the boy. What's the word? Yeah, push what's back. The word? Yeah, you know, I'm back. Back and better. Hold up. You talk to me for a little bit. I got to look something up real quick. <laughs> Yo, what's good? So we on Don't Trip. You know you know what it's about. You know, advice at no price. Okay, it's the podcast. You got to send in your questions, send in your d- dilemmas, your predicaments. And we're going to chop it up, talk about it a little bit, man. Don't trip because we got you. Mm-hmm. We got you the questions. Talk about the questions. Um, so we got the questions coming up. Um, the Don't Trip questions. You know, you send in your requests we answer them to the best of our abilities but we are not professionals he told y'all that he told y'all y'all we're not him. professionals y'all so him. you know we just talking our talk <laughs> doing what we can giving doing y'all a little help a little advice exactly you um i don't know what the other segment so i'm gonna give it back to the host all right what's up y'all uh it's david in the building you feel me but uh he said get back to those <laughs> but uh yeah we got the don't you questions for y'all uh make sure y'all go send it in make sure y'all like comment subscribe go mess with us um we know y'all mess with all the socials we got them little clips that y'all enjoy so much i appreciate y'all we working on the merch we're working on the just support the Patreon, whatever you got. Go follow us. Just uh, show some love. See us out in public. Yo, a little don't trip. What's up? We got you. You're getting a lot of bro. People come up to my brothers more than they come up to me. Nah, for real. Like, crazy. Like, yo, you're from the du-. it actually happened like yesterday. Yeah. At church. Yeah. But I, I I don't get it as much as them, I'm not, which is weird. But mm-hmm. hey, it's, but I was looking up because we ain't done this in a minute, but we appreciate y'all for real. We're in the charts. So we're in the top charts of Apple Podcasts and other podcasts in Greece, Nigeria. Kenya, Ghana. Dang, we in Africa. We in Africa for real, for real. Hold up, we in Africa for real, for real. Nah, Nigeria, we appreciate y'all for real. We, uh, that's Kenfo right there. Mm-hmm. That's love, that's love. Ibokwenu. Ibokwenu. Hey, hey. This man say Ibokwenu. But, oh, we got a little, are we getting some, some uh, comments too, like the little, What's it called when people comment on your leave you five stars? Ratings. Ratings. Yeah, we yeah, get some yeah. ratings too. Okay, I see y'all. And then, all right. Y'all are locked in for real. I know. We Good appreciate work. the support. We appreciate the support. But Good we get some fan um, stuff. Oh, low key. If you're watching the episodes in order, this might be before or after. I'm, I'm going to try to edit this episode mad quick because I want it to come out in two days. Oh. But if you're looking for part two of the group episode, it might be bef- after this one next week if you're listening for that. But it's coming. But also, if I didn't edit this fast enough, then this might also be the week after. So you yeah, just disregard just, that message. Yeah. But what's going on? oh, you didn't tell them the new segment. So we got a new segment. It's not really new. We're kind of kind of altering one of our current new segments because of something that we saw. Um, so it's just the, the segment that things people do. So we've only done this once. Me and Jay did it, and it was things that black people do. But this time we're going to do mm-hmm. things that girls do, things that boys do. But it's a little specific to to the, the content. But we'll get to that. So listen in, tap in. It's a, it's going to be a funny funny segment uh, when we get to it. But we're going to answer some questions first. Mm-hmm. Start it off right. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the first don't trip question, which is think it had on. What did you say? My thinking hat is on. What's your thinking hat on? I feel you. I feel you. Ooh. Okay. So if y'all didn't know, Poof has a little gym account or whatever. Feel me? Clock in. Goofy. Get, get, get right <laughs> with it. But um, the first question is, what's the best way to approach a man at the gym that seems like he doesn't want to be bothered? Don't trip. We got you. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh-huh. It's harder for guys to approach girls, period. And the gym is even harder because you know girls don't want to be brighter than the gym. But guys, there there are different ways to, to go about it, you know? Yeah. We had some of our friends tell us, oh, I, like I just I just stared at him. <laughs> just looking at him, just looking at his soul. I just get I just get in his path, get in his way, yeah, and make sure he sees me. And if and then just kind of go from there. If he doesn't approach me, he doesn't approach me type of thing. But honestly, the way I would do it is I would just be like either one ask him like are you done with this machine are you still working how many sets you got and then like go from there because you just had to start like casual conversation something like that That's or true. be like uh or compliment his physique if he's in the gym he's trying to look good oh you look oh, i see you i see you Did pushing away like, like, okay, I, I, I see you muscles okay something so like that that's, like, that's one way compliment his physique exactly one play the damsel in distress tight uh, i can't pick this weight up it's too heavy you think you can help can yeah you? man let me let me take it's my 15 pounds you can pick it up <laughs> you know you can but it's heavy it's help heavy. me out and then you can play uh you give him a little shoulder you know what i'm saying you're doing something, rdls something. i know y'all do some rdls mm-hmm. make sure you're in the right position mm-hmm. get a little, little bend over a little and once bit. you look you gotta look over and smile make sure you see him 
yeah. you notice him noticing you, and you got to put him on notice that you notice him too. You feel me? Ooh, like, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Like, give him a little smile. Because if he looks and you like look nasty or like you like give him like a dirty look, he's going to be like, ah, oh, I messed oh, up. I got caught. I'm on, I'm, camera. I'm on camera right now. I'm going to be viral. Right nah, she going viral. I'm in the group chat. It's I'm in the bad. group chat. There's a, yeah. It's bad. But um, honestly, for girls, it's not as bad. Just, just go up to him. It may look like he doesn't want to be bothered. He has his headphones in, but most guys in the gym are are more approachable than they look. Yeah, so that's true. That's go, true. Go ahead, walk up to him, and be bold. Be what bold. You gotta do. Be bold. And honestly, I feel like guys are used to getting rejected because it happens because guys shoot they shot. If you shoot your shot more, you're gonna get rejected more. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. But girls aren't used to that rejection, so they're scared of rejection. If you go up to him and he just is like, is like um, I'm busy, sorry, like, nah, I'm, I'm getting my workout in. Like, okay, cool, you cool. shot your shot, you know what happened, it just wasn't it. You just gotta take that to the chin. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't shoot your shot and you're just staring at him, first off, the, like, if y'all is staring at each other, y'all locked eyes or whatever, and you're like, why ain't approaching me? He's not approaching you because of the stereotype of dudes approaching girls in the gym. The gym. Or he think he don't want you to think he a creep. Yeah. So you're going to try to wait for the right time. Might take a while. Might not even take that. Might not see him again at that time in the gym. So exactly. Like, and, hard. like, for if you've seen him multiple times, that's a good way to lead off, too. Like, I've I seen you in the gym a couple yeah. times. Like, like, do you do you come? This I was going to say, do you come just, here often? That's do you crazy. Come, do you come here often? Come here often? <laughs> I'll be like, door. I've seen you a couple times. Do you come here often? Yeah. Yeah, I do. The times you see me. You see me. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um. Now, playing the, the damsel in distress, and I think the, just the, the size in him a little bit. Like, talking about, oh, you, you working out? I see you must, like, take off your muscle shirt. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's Monday, leg, arm yeah, day, whatever, you feel yeah. me? He missed leg day, though, yeah, goofy. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then he'll walk away. But, yeah, um, actually. Or if you see him one day wearing, like, an anime shirt or something, wear an anime shirt the next time. Make You're sure like, well, I like your shirt. If you're really trying to play the long game, if you're really trying to, trying to get in his good graces, I would say, I would say walk up to him. Or not walk up to him. Wear the anime shirt. You don't even have to know what it is. But just be like, oh, I like your shirt. Like, whatever you watch, blah, blah, blah. Type. You don't even just be like, hey, I've been trying to get into anime. Like, do you have any suggestions? <sighs> Sit down. <laughs> how, how long do you have? The workout's over. The workout's the over. Workout's how long over do you have? At that point, you exactly. have his full attention. Or if you or you come back the next week, you saw him wearing, um, you saw him wearing, let me get a top on. Let me get a top on. He was he was trying to be on his Vegeta grind, right? Mm -hmm. You saw him wearing his Vegeta, Vegeta t shirt. Next week, he come in with this like same shirt. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you, um, you see that? A new episode of Dragon Ball last week, I'd be like, huh? So you want to go get dinner tomorrow? What yeah, you, what like, you trying to do? got to chop it up. Like, what you trying to we do? got to like, anime and chill. What's the word? What's, what's, like, the, what's, the, word? what's the word? What's the word? Talk to me. Talk to me. All right. Next question of the day. Actually, let's let's wait. Have you ever hit on a girl in the gym? Have I ever? Yeah. How did I that have. Go? How'd that work out for you? So... <laughs> I'm already exposing my secrets. Talk to your the crazy thing is, she was wearing the anime shirt. Oh, Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AOT. Yeah, and this yeah, one yeah, was like yeah. really popping like that. Um, so I was like, that's a dope shirt. But I was like seriously just talking about her shirt at first. Like it wasn't because I had seen her. I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I was like picking up my weight and I saw her shirt. I was like, oh, that's a dope shirt. That's a cool shirt. And then I looked up and I'm like, she kind of cute too. Oh. Come on. Let's watch anime and shit. Yeah. It adds up. Yeah. Um, in the gym. That's but yeah, crazy. and then like I, I didn't ask for her number, but I was like, oh yeah, like, um, let me get your IG, whatever. And then after that, I had her up on IG. Respectable, respectable. But, that, that I ever tell you about that time where I went to the gym with dad mm -mm. and I got a girl number. Mm -mm. Nah, so we was at the gym, right? And we was we was working out. He was asking me what to do. We was like doing our thing or whatever. Yeah. And we was walking out and I, I spot Shorty on the on the treadmill. And that's that's like the ultimate challenge, bro. Shorty's on the treadmill. On the treadmill running? That's she was running, bro. Wow. She was running. She was on the treadmill. And then um we was walking out. And then dad, like I held the door from dad. He was walking out. I was like, yo, give me a second, bro. He's like, what you mean? And I was like, I'm gonna go talk to Shorty real quick. He's like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna go talk to a girl real quick. He's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and then I went, I went up to her on the treadmill. Um, and then I was like, uh, like she saw me in the, in the peripherals or whatever. I was like, excuse me. And she was like, she started slowing down. She's like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm good. I just, uh, I was about to leave, but I noticed she was really cute even when you run in this sweat and all that. So I was trying to get your number. And then she was like, oh my gosh, yeah, of course. I just gotta feel like, I'm finishing my workout, but here's my number real quick. Respectful, yeah, it's just so smooth, it's so slight. Walked outside and then um, Pops was like, did you get it? I was like, I was like what you mean did I get it? He's like, you just go up to it and talk to him like that? I was like, hey, Pops, let's sit there. I know you bag, mom. I know, I know you like, come I know, on. You, I know you know. It's like on your know, pimping. This is how it works. But you got to be the right type of, you got to bring the right type of swag. Yeah. You, you got to match their look. Obviously, she was probably more attracted to my type and it was like a, 
attraction things. So yeah, if, you, yeah. if it was just like uh, off the jump, she'd probably be like, no, sorry, I'm just working out. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So be ready for rejection. That don't always work. Yeah, but, but but also don't look so, I mean, it's hard because I do it too. Don't look so mean in the gym. If you like see someone that you like, yeah, just like, don't be so a little mean. Smile. Give throw a little smile. smile. And throw a fake compliment, bro. Just be like, hey, I like your, I like your color of your shirt. It's black. I like black. I love black. That's my color. That's, that's a great color. Yeah. It matches your eyes. It matches your eyes. It really pops. It makes, <laughs> it pop. <laughs> makes the eyes pop a little. Exactly, bro. I remember one time I was like to a girl in the gym. She did have cool hair, but I was just like, yo, I like your hair. And then she was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Like, I've been working. I was like, oh, this is going to a conversation for real. <laughs> like, let's, 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 let's take a break <laughs> from our reps. <laughs> but all right, just don't be confident, girls and guys. Um, because you just shoot your shot, bro. It's not. It's not. It's not yeah. bad to do that. But give them a little taste. Give them a little. Give a little hint that you want them. But don't do too much. Don't do not too much. Too much. No. All right. Next question. Oh, I scrolled way the wrong direction. All right. Next question we got is, and then we are gonna get into this new segment. We don't even got that many questions today. Okay, we just gotta chop it up. But ooh, I like this one. Am I disrespecting myself by not holding a grudge on people who disrespected me? If so, how do I go about it maturely? Don't trip. We got you. Am I disrespecting myself by not holding a grudge against people who disrespected so me? So she got disrespected and she's just letting it slide. I think I think you're being the bigger person to a certain level. Mm -hmm. If it's some disrespect that's like they cross the line for real. Like it's just it's dead after that. Like if they they insulted your family, they insulted your character, or whatever. If they was if they was um disrespecting you like it was like a little jokey joke. Some people could see it as a joke, but you didn't think it was that funny. Yeah. And holding a grudge on that but like and not being mature about it and just be like, ah, let's not do that one again. Like but we we cool, we cool. Um then like don't hold a grudge with that. But I, I'm not saying hold a grudge, but make sure you vocalize what is your boundaries like yeah. don't let your boundaries be crossed so if it's if it is family for you if it is your character for you if it is whatever because if you let it slide one time they're gonna slide it's gonna slide again yeah so you're not being you're not being disrespectful to yourself by letting it slide i think being a grown person in some aspects is better because you people are gonna be like especially if they're just trying to get under your skin and you just let it go yeah just be like okay cool like I'm not, I can't, I can't get you yeah, nonchalant. Okay, cool. I can't get to him like that. But if you hold the grudge for like that little stuff, then it's going to be like, oh, they're, they're soft. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's like, I think you're doing yourself a disservice if after they disrespect you, nothing changes. So here's how true. I look at it. That's so true. it's biblical to forgive, right? Facts. We have to forgive. forgive. We have to love others. And we have to forgive people. Like regardless of what they did to you, the goal is to ultimately forgive them. But the way I live is like, always forgive, never, never forget, forget. That ain't. and then try to move on. Facts. You feel me? Facts. So like, you're always, always forgive. Like seven times 70 is biblical. Like we have to forgive, we're called to forgive. Right. And I feel like that's the grudge part. Like holding a grudge means you didn't, you didn't forgive type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. I so like I think the way you're going about it is a good, it's a good way to go about it. But the never or the try to move on part is you have to make adjustments in your life in order for that not to happen again. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, say we're cool, whatever. You disrespect me, you cross the line. It takes me some time, but I'm going to forgive you, right? But now you've created this, a little rift. We're not going to be this close again. You mm -hmm. were this close. We can be close. But we're not going to be this close. You feel me? Disrespect. So you have to be able to create that boundary so that they don't even have the opportunity to dis disrespect you like that anymore. That's, That's true. But you've forgiven them. The grudge is gone. Like, we're cool. Whatever. It's But holding a grudge, I feel like, does yourself a disservice. You know? Like, it takes more energy for you to hold a grudge than for you to forgive. Yeah. A lot of the time. Exactly. It's always going to be on the back of your mind. It's always yeah. going to be worried about it. And, like... It's hard not to hold grudges. I'm, 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 we're not gonna lie. It's very hard not to hold grudges. Definitely. Very hard not to be petty. Definitely, because if some if an opportunity comes up, being a bigger person is always the harder it's decision always more to difficult. make. Yeah. But like, it's it's just gonna be either an ever ending circle of like um, back and forth type thing. Yeah. Or one of y'all could be the bigger person, let your grudge go, and then if that person doesn't learn from it, like you said, like he said, distance yourself. So even if that person makes that mistake again. Like they can't get back all yeah, the way over there. It's you not already gonna put affect you the same way. Exactly, it's not going to affect. You. So, don't hold grudges. If you're holding a grudge, I, to answer her question, I do think you're doing yourself a disrespect by holding a grudge. Like letting it go. No, she she let it go. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. 
But okay, yeah, I, I think. She, but if you hold a grudge, you're doing yourself disrespect. But yeah. letting it go, I think you're being the bigger person in that situation. Even even if um, you come back to it, it shouldn't be a grudge. Like you're doing yourself a disrespect if you don't like like Pooh said, do that distance thing where you're just letting it happen again and again and again. Not necessarily right. the grudge of being mad at that person or being bitter to that person mm -hmm. or trying to get back at that person, right. but just letting that person have the same access to you or be able to control you in a sense again right. and again and again. That's doing yourself a disservice. Right. Not holding a grudge. Exactly. And then if you um if you do hold a grudge. I feel like that just gives that person without, they're not even doing anything anymore, but that gives Facts. that person power over you, you know, yeah. to power over your emotions, power on how you respond to things. How the, like you don't go to this place because that person's there. So you can't go have fun because Bro. the person's there because you're holding a grudge. Like that's, that's not even like up to you. That's not your responsibility. Like if now, if you guys are like chill, you drop it, whatever, but you just go to the place and like, you kind of mind your business, distance yourself. Like I feel like holding a grudge, Yes, it's hard to let go, but also it's doing yourself a disservice. It's it has that control over you, it has that power over you if you do hold a grudge. That's just facts, bro. Not people serious. be people be having grudges with themselves though. You yeah, know I mean? bro. like they be making people be making stuff up in their head and be like, This person hates me, I hate this person yeah. because of something they did. That is just completely it's like false. fabricated beef. Fabricated beef. <laughs> bro, fabricated like, beef is crazy. Who made this up. Just <laughs> I feel like people just need to focus on themselves. But also, those are, like a lot of people don't know it, but they just want attention. Like they yeah. want people to feel bad for them. They want people to people to like pity them or take their side. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Thing. And and I think I, okay. Now that I think about it, it might not be a fake grudge, but it's a self fabric, like you said, self fabricated beef, right? Yeah. So it's a grudge that they made up in their own head. Because of something like the other person might not even know. You might not even know this person. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then they have like, I don't like them because they're doing this. They're seeing this person. They're doing this. They're doing that. Yeah. And they're just causing problems that don't need to be caused. Especially, you might like that person if you actually talk to them. Yeah. Especially girls, bro. I was gonna say something, but no, I, you went, can say it. I was gonna you say can something. Say it. She gave me a look. Yeah. So she doesn't like me. She gave me a look. She don't like me. Um, she didn't say hi when she walked in the room. She don't like me. But and I don't see I don't know how girls think I don't know how girls that's operate. True. Yes, that's we might have to ask a girl this because to be honest to because see what's in the back of your minds because it could be like that exactly. Like, if you don't say hi to a girl, maybe that's like a sign. Oh, I don't but like unless you. unless a dude come up to me and be like, "Bro, get out the way," I don't. Yeah, like we don't have beef. Like yeah, I don't mean, care. You don't give me no look. Like yeah. for real, I'm not paying attention to that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just it's just something we can squat. Like and if you communicate that, go up to the person. But they're all just mean people in the world, actually. Yeah. They're all just mean people just in the world. innately mean. Yeah, they just like to be mean for no reason. Yeah. But it's, okay, but they're also girls with the RBF. Yeah. And, she, and like, yeah. she's really a nice girl. Yeah. But she was looking she at you crazy mean. because she looks a little crazy. You feel me? Like, <laughs> she, she just looks like she a little crazy. People. Yeah, I feel that. But, but jinx, nigga, you want me? Ooh. Mm. Excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> we will get to this next segment. Um, so it's the new, it's the one I told y'all about. So today we have things girls do and things boys do, but this is a little bit more logical. You feel me? So we've been seeing this thing about girl math versus boy math. Y'all be making calculations that just don't make no sense at all. And then we're going to get to the boy math in a little bit because it, it comes off the girl math. You yeah, feel me? yeah, yeah. But we're going to start with girl math. You can, we, can, we can break it down a little bit, talk about how it makes sense, how it does. We can, we can try to be on their side. Okay. We can try to be on their side. I might get a whiteboard for this. Yeah, Classes in session. Me. Classes in session. All right. Girl math. If I don't spend anything today, I've doubled my budget for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is, bro. I might agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I might be on her side. Yeah, I got $5 to spend today, $5 tomorrow. Let's tomorrow. tomorrow. I didn't buy any food today. Or we could just so save I can, it. I can buy food twice or tomorrow. Just save it. Or I could buy food twice tomorrow. Next. And it's just like I bought food yesterday. Oh my gosh. It's like to make up for it. Exactly. It's like um, so I could be on their side for this one. <laughs> I could be. I could be. All right. If you pay in cash, it's free. How does that make any sense? No, listen, you're, Smitty told me this, Meiji. Shout out Matthew Smith. Cash isn't real money. And I started believing him for a second. Dude. <laughs> he said, we pulled up to the gas station. He said, I'm paying for the gas and cash. I said, why? He said, it's not real money. That's not <laughs> logical, said, hmm. bro. That's not, it's not real money. <laughs> it's, it's just pieces of paper. <laughs> it's just pieces of paper. It's printed. It's, it's not real money. It, it doesn't make sense, but. If I return something, I'm making money. 
No. Oh, okay. Because the, because the money's coming back okay, to my okay, account. Okay, 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 okay. If I return something, I'm making money. If I return something that was gifted, I'm making money. If it's gifted, if someone gives you a gift and you return it, you're making money. So if I return something I purchased, that doesn't make sense because I think that's what that means. <laughs> I think that's what this one means. That's definitely that's definitely. Yeah, I means. buy like a six thousand dollar pair of shoes, whatever. You're gonna get six thousand dollars back that you just that spent. you just spent. It's so you gonna break even now. So you break even. <laughs> it's no money earned. You break no money even. Goes. It looks like money coming in your account. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> it looks like, look like, like, like money it. coming back. <laughs> you be like, good. I'm gonna be sitting with pretty with six thousand dollars. You just spent that six thousand dollars. <laughs> Ah, all right, all funny. body suits and dresses are fifty percent off because you're saving money on a top and a bottom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> man, it, bro, man. <laughs> My thing is, it is one piece of clothing. It is one piece, of clothing. piece of clothing. One... I mean, I guess it depends on the price, but so I mean, if I was buying two pieces of clothing, it'd be double the price. Double the price. It. Bro, that it makes, makes a little sense. sense. No, so doesn't. wear more sundresses. Hey, I, 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 it makes sense. It makes it perfect sense. Actually, I, I, like I, that I, I think that's. I like that one. Good, that's that's good. Good. Let's, let's work with that one. Uh, <laughs> the next one is: if I spend money the day before I get paid, I didn't lose any money. <laughs> or the day you do get paid. No, no, no. I guess spend, maybe the, the idea that their bank account is going to be refilled. So when they look back at it, it's just the same. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. I feel like girls be mathing, and the math don't be mathing, but, but it be, be mathing. <laughs> you feel I me? Feel like, that. I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like nothing's coming out of that paycheck, but it could have also been added to that paycheck. But nothing's coming out. No, now you now you're making no sense. Stop. You feel? No, 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 no. Ladies, I'm trying. Yeah, he's I'm really trying. trying. I'm, trying. For real. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. If I order something that's a hundred dollars. Oh, wait, my fault. If I order something that's $100 and the shipping is $50, that's too much money. But if I order something that's a total of $150 and the shipping is free, that's fine. <laughs> that shipping price be crazy. Bro, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you're, still, you're spending $150, $150. <laughs> but, bro, if you look at the shipping and it's you're $50, spending, bro. First, you shouldn't buy that in the first place. But <laughs> I'm comparing these two options. It's $150, $150. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, even if you want it, but yeah, you're right. Okay, all but right. If you get something that is worth $150 and the shipping is free, yeah, that means you're getting something worth $150 and the shipping is free. But like, if you buy something for $100 and the shipping is half of the price you're paying for that $100 thing, yeah, that's insane. Okay, okay, you feel me? Okay, that's insane. Okay, that that it's that it's, the math, the math. It, the girl, Matt, gets a little mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, ladies. Don't all worry. right, all right. If you buy, if you don't buy, <laughs> bro, what? If you don't buy an item on sale, you're losing money. <laughs> if you see a sale sign, you have to purchase it. You have to purchase you're going to lose it. money if you don't. If you walk by that sale sign, you do not buy anything, <laughs> you're losing money. <laughs> In what world does that make any sense? Just walk away what? with your bread. Just walk what? away with your bread, bro. No, that one's actually kind of crazy. Actually, that one makes zero sense at all. If, you're, if you don't purchase something and you see it's on sale, you're losing money. It's yeah. crazy. It's yeah. mad. Don't, don't lose your money, I guess. Bro, bro what? Bro. If something's $176, it's actually $100. Hundred seventy six. Yeah, I guess oh. round, it's round down. They have to round down. Round down. You have to round down. That, you have to round down. All the way. We All the way. We, we to go the nearest to this, hundred. Yeah, to but the, the thing hundred. is, if you round it anywhere, it would be the two hundred. Okay, no, no, no. Actually, it's, it's, yeah, but I think it's the nearest zero. zero. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not the nearest. It's a lower zero. So, would so that if, it, math? if it was thirty seven dollars, it'd be thirty dollars. But then, well, okay. What if it was seventy six dollars? It would be zero dollars. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I think you had to get, you got to get past the honey. So it'd just be $70. 76 down to 70. Yeah, yeah, but 176 down to 100. Honey. That don't make no so I, I, sense. I think if, if like a wife comes home and be like, I bought something. How much was it? And it was $2,927. dollars be like, oh, it was only $2,000. Bro, exactly, Bro. exactly. You can disregard the nine hundred twenty-seven dollars plus tax. Plus tax, three thousand dollars. <laughs> if I'm at a restaurant and I pay for everybody and everyone sends me money back, I made money that day. 
it looked like it. It looks like it. It, it really like does. It. But your bank account gonna be the same. <laughs> you got the Venmo and the Zelle. <laughs> exactly. Don't make bread. Your bread. Oh, don't make your bread. Hold on. The bread you just spent. That don't make no sense. Crazy at all. thing is, bro. You got y'all need to stop paying for everyone because no one ever includes the tax or the tip. Yeah. So they're paying for what they have on the menu. Mm-hmm. On the on the you're on losing the receipt. You're, you're not losing money. money. You're losing money. You're losing money. She thinks you gave money. She's losing thought. money. You thought. All right. Last one that leads into the guy ones because this this caused problems. You feel me? Just listen. This last one a little while. Girl math is going on vacation with eight friends and coming back with three. <laughs> That's math. <laughs> Where'd the other ones come from? <laughs> Two of them left early. Two of them found boyfriends. <laughs> one of them got in a fight. One of them got in a fight. You ditched the other one. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Wow. Or, or having no. This is Loki girl math. Go ahead, go ahead. Having ten girls at your birthday one year and having ten different ones the next year. Oh, it's, it's evens it's out. It evens out. It evens out. That's it's good just, math. Just ten and ten. That's good math. That's not good math. That's good math. <laughs> All right, but, but some people took this one personal, you feel me? So then they started the boy math, you feel me? All right, and right. it's boy math. It's not even math. It's, they cooking us. Uh-huh. They cooking us for real, you feel me? All right, All right, right ready? Boy math. Boy math is spending seven years with Miss Girl and giving her three kids, but marriage is too much of a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they was talking about shopping. Now they talking about kids. They talking about kids. <laughs> ah, talking about kids. Wow. I mean, if you think about years, it, just, if you think about think it, about it, math, mathematically, mathematically, seven years versus marriage. That's a lifetime versus seven years. He's going for the cheaper deal. Mm-hmm. Wait, seven and three kids. So it's seven plus three kids. That's probably 10. Yeah. 10 versus 50, 60 years of your life. That's true. That's and if you think about seven years divided by three kids or four or subtract seven years <laughs> <laughs> listen <laughs> seven years minus the four kids that's two divided by two parents it even it's, it, it all evens out right yeah technically technically right technically it's called nigerometry nigerometry it's called nigerometry um okay. yeah no that's not it <laughs> They they got they, they we, got we got more we got more we got, more. got it with that right. one. I can't lie to you. The next one is we got hella more actually. Ready? It's cooking. Ah, ah, foot cramp. Cramp. Foot cramp. Mm-hmm. Ah, we good though. Lock in. Ah, leg day, baby. All right. Next one is boy math. <laughs> boy math is raising three pit bulls instead of one child. <laughs> <laughs> Kids get gas pimples too. <laughs> like they not cheap. <laughs> they not cheap. But that's your baby, not the, the Hulk, baby, bro. Nah, 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 nah. That's and they take care of them good. For too. real, for real. Gourmet steaks. But you gotta think. This might be a little contradictory, but it's a kid, and not a dog. Yeah. Like it's, that's it's it's something that you bought versus something that's your you, responsibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. Type of thing. Like you made that. That's you your take care of your child. Yeah, that's half of your DNA. Gang. Please go take every child. Got to. <laughs> Boy math is being six two but shorter than a five ten woman. Oh, I feel attacked. Yeah, that's a because I do no, be. I do. I'm be, not gonna lie. The five ten women be tall. 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 I don't think. I don't. I think they probably have the measurements different. You know, for the guys, guys and girls, shoe size is that, different. Yeah, the, 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 the measurement must be different. It's as like well. the girl inches are bigger. Yeah, exactly. Then, yeah, I feel like the. That, yeah, that's that's that they it. got the girl measuring tapes and the guy ones. Mm-hmm, exactly. That's Just why. don't get them mixed up. That's that's the problem yeah. right there. That's why they always say size matters, bro. <laughs> Their measuring tapes are different. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Boy math is getting your heart broke by a girl in seventh grade and deciding to hate all women. Absolutely. For life. But that that that's one, plus, one plus one equals two, it right? Equals two. That's one two. times one equals two. It's, it's all the same thing. It's all the, come on. It makes what seventh you, grade, sixth grade, fourth grade, don't preschool, bro. Like it's the same I, thing, I, bro. One time, I, I swear the doctor slapped me. When I came out the womb, I wasn't ready for nothing. I was for like, commitment, commitment. She 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 she, she hit me. You What's put your like, hands on me? What are you doing? <laughs> no, nah, how come these ones are easier to rationalize <laughs> than the girl was? That's not okay. You put your hands on bro, me, bro, bro, bro. Commitment, commitment. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> nah, she went on a swing to old dude, bro. bro. I can never trust women she again, mean, bro. bro. She broke my heart. <laughs> Shawty, like a melody. <laughs> it's gonna burn for me to say <laughs> <laughs> like, You got it, you got it. <laughs> Boy. Alright. Man. Boy math is when you cannot cook clean, but the woman is the one who refuses to do it and they're dirty and lazy. 
That one, that one's not exactly mathing. I don't feel that one. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one. You need to learn to cook and clean, my boy. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I feel like that's, I feel like that's like basic life. Yeah, tra training. Yeah, exactly. Like, you got to survive. Yeah. And if you don't have a woman to do it for you, who's going to do it for you? Yeah, exactly. So Mama? you need to be able to take care of yourself, my boy. You got to. Come on. And shoot. If we're doing a double stand, then both y'all need to learn how to cook and yeah, clean. Yeah, Then you're both just... I'm exactly. not going to say you're both dirty. That's yeah. mean. But, like, learn how to cook and clean. I mean, if you can't clean, you're dirty. You're dirty. Mm -hmm. You're so, dirty. You're dirty. Boy math is knowing every play from the 1983 Super Bowl, but not knowing your child's birthday. <laughs> Got to think about twice. <laughs> when was Johnny born? <laughs> Johnny, 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 Johnny Manziel. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Manziel, Manziel for 300 yards on that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's so that's bad, crazy. Bro. No, it was funny.